Hello YouTube family, Greg D here with TGN, we are back for another DCU video, and today, as promised, I am bringing you a uh, sorcery DPS loadout uh, without using a pet. Now, we will be still using um, the Grand Summoning Supercharge, but as far as the like main loadout goes, we will not be using the pet at all, so you don't have to worry about that, because um, as we know, um, the pet damage... And all the damage uh, via the stats revamp has been highly nerfed, obviously, depending on um, how many skill points you have. But this is what works for me, so try it out and uh, see if you like it. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. So what I am using, once again, much like with the um, pet loadout, I am using weapon mastery. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to. I personally uh, prefer it. Um, so what I'm using is the brawling into martial arts mastery. So obviously you need to get your skill points into um, brawling here, and then obviously uh, martial arts. Now you can use several other um, weapon masteries. This is just the one that I prefer. You can use, um, what's another good, two-handed into bow, hand blaster into bow, um, dual wield is another good one. Um, so it's just kind of personal preference there. Um, and as far as like mods, I went with the balance of uh, precision and uh, precision and might with some power. So like I did might and power, uh, precision and might, uh, precision and might for the Red Sox, precision and health, just to kind of give um, myself an overall rounded, um, even keel um, character per se. So what I did as far as the actual, um, let me go into the stats points here. So I did use weapons expert because you will be doing a lot of damage via your weapon. Obviously, um, you want to get your critical attack chance, get your critical attack damage. And then I used the rest of my skill points, even though I know I don't have a lot. Um, I kind of balanced them between precision and might because obviously you're doing some damage with your powers and some, some damage with your weapon as well. So as far as the actual loadout is concerned... You, You've got Circle of Destruction, which is your power interaction. Um, that will inflict bad karma. And then you'll notice some of these other powers, once the power interaction is set up, uh, they'll do extra damage because of that. So, uh, Weapon of Destiny, which is your weapon buff. Grand Summoning, your Supercharge, which you will be able to uh, summon all three of the pets. DPS, Tank Pet, Healer Pet, for a short period of time. Love the Supercharge, you guys know that if you've uh, followed me or... Um, you know, I've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I love it. Uh, so then we have Soul Well here, uh, so you can kind of like stack these. Um, this is obviously damages nearby enemies, as you see there. Um, create an explosive magical shard above your target, damaging it near and nearby enemies over time. So this is another uh, uh, damage over time. Bad karma affected enemies take additional damage, as I mentioned before, because of the power interaction. And then we finish off with Soul Bolt. So once again, Bad Karma um, affected enemies take additional damage. So really, this is a pretty simple um, rotation. Like I said, this is what works for me. Um, try it out for yourself. See if you like it. I won't be I won't be hurt if you don't. But basically, what I'm going to do. So let's get our trinket up here. So basically, the the loadout is pretty pretty easy. So what we're going to do is you're going to clip Circle of Destruction with Weapon of Destiny, hit a Weapon Mastery attack. Hit Soul Well, Metal Mastery Attack, Shard of Life, and you're going to use Soul Bolt as your finisher, quote unquote. So here's how it looks. So we'll pop the trinket. So you're going to clip those two, hit your Weapon Mastery, get Soul Well, hit your Weapon Mastery, hit Shard, hit a Weapon Mastery, and then, and then you can hit a couple more Weapon Masteries, and then your Circle of Destruction and Weapon of Destiny should be cooled down, so you can go like that. So the nice thing is, it's like it's pretty much set up so that like you basically can hit. You have enough time basically to hit a weapon mastery attack in between each power, and the damage is pretty much on par, if not, you know, maybe even a little bit better um, than um, the damage with the pet. I mean, at, at this point, the you know pet damage, whether you're talking about sorcery or earth, is basically just a damage over time. They're, they don't hit nearly as hard. Um, as they once did before the stats revamp, but we'll go through this one more time. So you're going to clip, weapon mastery attack, you're going to hit soul well, weapon mastery attack, you're going to hit shard of life, weapon mastery attack, and then you're going to hit the soul bolt, and then like I said, you'll have time to do a couple of weapon masteries, and then everything will come off a cooldown, so you can just go right through 
the rotation again. Now, obviously, my damage would be a lot higher if I had more skill points, but um, for what I have right now, this is what works well for me. So, um, you know, this is another viable option because, um, like I mentioned in my last video, um, I was a person who, like most of us, liked delegating some of the damage to the pet, but that may not be such a viable option at this point. So here is a great alternative if you want to... Um, do the damage yourself and not waste the uh, spots in your loadout uh, for the pet and for offering itself. So we'll go through this one more time here as our trinket comes off a cooldown. There we go. So we'll pop that. So you're going to clip, weapon mastery attack, soul well, weapon mastery attack, short of life, and then your soul bolt. And then, like I said, you'll be able to hit couple of weapon masteries everything comes off a cooldown and you are good to go so I mean like pretty self-explanatory you're obviously the damage is pretty quick here and you can stack you know several damage over times which is nice um, but I like it I like this like I said this works for me so try it out let me know what you guys think and uh, yeah so that is it so with that being said we're going to end this video right here so thank you guys so much for watching as always don't forget to like share comment and subscribe for more and until next time we'll see you soon